Early in 2024, a deepfake South Park hit the web, and then it suddenly vanished, mysteriously. I'm going to show you a few minutes, and AI expert Orange Feb explains what exactly this thing was. Guys, have you heard about the Screen Actors Guild strike? Yeah, it's all over the news. That sucks. Does that mean there won't be any new shows coming out? Exactly, Stan. And that's where my business idea comes in. I'm glad you asked, Kenny. It's called Queepy. A deepfake streaming service. Wait, what? Deepfake? Cartman, that's illegal and unethical. No, 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 it's genius. We take existing shows and movies and just replace the actors with deepfake versions of other famous people. Like imagine Game of Thrones, but with Danny DeVito as Daenerys. <laughs> that's ridiculous, Cartman. Is it ridiculous? Or is it so ridiculous that it just might work? No, it's definitely just ridiculous. Well then, I guess you guys won't want to cut of the profits when Queepy takes off. More for me, then. There won't be any profits, Cartman. You're going to get sued. Not if they can't prove it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a deep fake streaming empire to build. So this is an AI tool. It's essentially, it's a demo because it, they said, we're well, going to take some kind of format for a comedy show and something that's easy to bring to life visually. And what's easier to bring to life than South Park? Because, you know, cut out characters and yeah, the animation is really minimalistic and basically there's not a lot going on except for mouth movements eye movements and you know that's basically it and they said okay so we're going to create a tool that can create south park episodes and you give it a prompt and it just creates the whole episode it's an, an amazing demonstration so as we were saying mr spokesman our idea is called queepy it's a deep fake streaming service Huh, interesting concept, but how do you plan on pulling this off? Well, sir, we take existing shows and movies and replace the actors with deep fake versions of other famous people. Imagine The Lion King, but with Samuel L. Jackson as Simba. Or Frozen with Ryan Reynolds as Elsa. Intriguing, but I'm not convinced you can pull it off. Trust us, Mr. Spokesman, we've got this under control. The thing is, boys, a project like this requires a lot of funding. Have you secured any investors yet? Well, not exactly. That's why we're here. We thought maybe Bisney could be our angel investor. Bisney? Investing in a potential legal minefield like this? You boys have guts, I'll give you that. We believe in our idea, sir. Well then, I'll tell you what. If you can secure another investor to back your project first, Bisney might just consider it. Deal. You won't regret this, Mr. Spokesman. I certainly hope not, boys. It moves from scene to scene. It does staging for the characters in the frame. And it, it does all that with a story arc that makes sense. It, it, again, it's not great, but it makes sense because it follows the rules. And like I said before, as long as it has rules to follow, it's more quantitative for it. So the quality part still isn't great, but the, the quantitative part, whenever it knows that, okay, so there are two, two characters talking, so I have to do like this kind of shot and have Stan here and have Cartman here. And then, okay, so we're moving from this to, to the school. So we'll have a second of establishing shot and then we go inside. So as long as there are rules to follow, it does it brilliantly. Welcome to Fetter Investments. What can I do for you? Mr. Fetter, have you ever dreamed of watching The Matrix, but with Danny DeVito as Neo? Can't say that I have. Well, with our new deep fake streaming service, Queepy, that dream could become a reality. And as their lead engineer, I can assure you that the technology we're using is top notch. So you're telling me you can put any actor in any role? Exactly. And the best part is, we don't need the actor's permission. That seems like a legal nightmare. Not if we use actors no one cares about anymore. Yeah, like Meryl Streep, Tom Cruise, or Harrison Ford. Hey, I care about Harrison Ford. So what do you say, Mr. Fetter? Are you ready to revolutionize entertainment with us? Actually, it's, it's a surprisingly simple prompt. I mean, all you have to do, uh, again, like, like I said before, the, the garbage in, garbage out thing. Obviously, if you, if you give it more details, then it, it'll get more details into the episode. But... Essentially, you only have to write an episode about, I don't know, Elon Musk losing all his money and having to live in a Tesla truck. And it'll take it from there. You, you don't have to tell it, okay, so it'll start with that 
and then build up to whatever and then act two will be and then the the you know the the climax will be this and then it will be that no you have to just all you need is like this general idea and it'll generate it from that in our third and final chat oren predicts that the job of screenwriter will all but disappear in about five phases and he shows what he did to the work of Stanley Kubrick and what else we can expect to see soon. Make sure you subscribe so I can notify you when that video goes live. And if you're a screenwriter, hurry up and get that script out before you're obsolete. The immersion training may help you beat the clock and find your own human voice. It's a risky investment, but I like risks. Count me in. Happy watching, happy writing. Cheers.